Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com, and today I want to go over some accessories that I have found to be incredibly useful during my own guitar journey as well as my students. You know, at home, I have this drawer full of guitar crap. You know, things that I thought would be useful, but really they've just been sitting in the drawer ever since I bought them. And my goal for you is to not develop your own drawer of useless guitar gadgets. I want you to save your money and just get the stuff that is absolutely essential and is gonna make your guitar journey that much easier. I'm also gonna be giving away two of the accessories that we're gonna be speaking of to two lucky people. Details to enter will be announced a little later. Anyways, let's begin with my first recommendation, a clip-on tuner. You clip it onto your headstock, you turn it on, and then you can tune your guitar. There are other ways to do it, like a tuning app on your phone or one of those old school tuners that you put on your lap and it listens to your guitar through the sound hole, but they're just not as good as a clip-on tuner. A clip-on tuner senses the vibrations, making it more accurate, and you can use it in a loud environment. Like if you're at a party or something, it'll still work. You know, they have ones that are so small, you can just leave them on your guitar all the time, and you're always going to be able to tune up, which, as you probably know by now, is 100% essential. Even the best player is going to sound bad if their guitar is out of tune. My number two essential guitar accessory is a guitar stand. If you leave your guitar out somewhere where you're gonna see it all the time, you can pick it up and you can just start playing in like a second. If you have to make a big ordeal about it, you know, go into your closet, pull out your guitar case, undo all the latches, take it out, you know, it's not that bad, but it's gonna put just a couple more steps, you know, a couple more minutes between you and playing your guitar. A guitar stand gives you instant access and gets the guitar in your lap right away so you'll be more inclined to play and practice. My third pick for essential guitar accessories, guitar picks. And while there are some students out there who wanna play exclusively with their fingers, I recommend learning with a pick to pretty much everybody. You know, it makes strumming simpler and smoother, and you can always branch out and learn to use your fingers afterwards. You know, it's, it's not one or the other. And when it comes to discovering what pick is right for you, it's really simple. Nowadays, they have these variety packs that have a ton of different picks in them. You buy the variety pack, you try using them all, and you see which one you like the best, and that's going to be your pick. I have a link below for an acoustic guitar pick variety pack that my students really like, along with some affiliate links for everything else covered in this discussion. If you use those links, a small portion of your purchase will go towards the Good Guitarist YouTube channel, and I do appreciate the support. Anyways, my fourth essential accessory extra strings. And I think this goes without saying, you want to have an extra set of strings ready to go in case you ever break a string. You know, I, I personally change the strings on my guitar every two weeks. Sometimes I'll let it go a couple months on my living room acoustic, but they sound pretty dead to me at that point. You know, you, you might enjoy the old dull string sound. It's, it's a preference thing, but regardless, when your strings get really old, they're going to break. And if you don't have extra strings on hand, you're going to have to go to the store or wait to get them in the mail, and you're going to miss out on a ton of playing time. So have those extra strings on hand. Also, make sure you get the same strings that are already on your guitar. If you get thicker strings with a higher tension, it's going to change the setup on your guitar. It might make the strings a little bit higher off the fretboard, and it's going to make it a little bit harder to play. And if you put thinner strings on your guitar, they might start to buzz, you know, and this is all because your guitar is set up for the exact tension and thickness of string that is currently on it. So get the same ones. And if you're not sure, just bring your guitar to your local shop and they should be able to help. You know, I always use Earthwood lights. Um, I've been experimenting with Paradigm strings as well, which are meant to last longer. And I really like them too. And if you want to try them, I have a few packs to give away a little bit later. Anyways, those are my four essential accessories. Things that are going to make your guitar journey so much easier and simpler. Now I want to talk about some things that while they're not essential, I still use them all the time. You know, these are things that aren't in the drawer. They're out on the table around where I play guitar because I'm always using them. The first one is a peg winder. And when I change strings, I don't want to spend 10 minutes turning the, the knobs, you know, the machine heads. And with one of these tools, 
you can just fly through it literally 10 times faster. You know, you just put it on there and then you can just twist the thing so quickly. And not all peg winders are created equal. I used to use this cheap flimsy one. You know, this is, this is the one that's in the guitar drawer of stuff that I never use. Honestly, it wasn't that much better than using my fingers. It actually scratched the sides of the of my headstock on a couple guitars because it's so flimsy, it kind of just flies everywhere. And because of that, I was inspired, you know, to buy a proper one that costs more than like a buck fifty or whatever. Fender makes a really good one, but the one that I bought is the Ernie Ball Pegwinder Pro or Plus. I don't remember the name, but um, it's soft and rubbery, so it's not going to scratch your guitar if you slip, and it really grips the tuning head well. My super cheap flimsy one. See how it does that? It just keeps going like that further and further till it's about to fall out. And then I have to push it back together to tighten it up again. And it's a headache. Whereas with this one, it's just a solid piece of equipment. You know, it doesn't go anywhere. I like to have nice tools that are going to last. You know, even if they cost a little bit more, they end up being cheaper in the long run. That's a good one. Another accessory that is almost an essential one is a guitar strap. Even if you're sitting down, uh, it makes your guitar more stable. I don't use one when I'm filming because it messes with filming, but when I'm playing, I always have a guitar strap, even when I'm sitting down. And if you want to stand up and play, it's absolutely essential. A little trick here is you want to adjust it so that it feels the same whether you're sitting or standing. So you just put it on, you stand up, sit down, and you know you want your guitar to be in the same place either way. I actually have a couple prize packs here. There's this Ernie Ball Pegwinder. It is plus. I thought it was pro. Um, Ernie Ball Pegwinder plus. A couple of packs, one electric and one acoustic, the strings that I prefer to use myself. And then I also separately have this Ernie Ball Jacquard strap, a nice, you know, a nice strap that they provided for me to give away to you for free. Otherwise, this video isn't sponsored in any other way and all these opinions are my own. And you'll also get some strings with that strap. And for your chance to win one of these prizes, all you have to do is leave a comment below Tell me, what is the hardest thing that you can play on guitar? It can be a song or a technique. The hardest thing for you so far on guitar. Let me know in the comments down below. And whoever's comment gets the most likes and replies will be chosen for the giveaway. You know, the top two. So share this with your friends. Get them to like your comment, to reply to it, and you'll win one of these prizes provided by Ernie Ball. The next accessory that I want to talk about is a capo. And this is something that is invaluable if you like to sing while you play guitar, because it lets you take the song that you can already play and you just put the capo on there. You pretend that that's where the guitar ends and you play everything a little bit higher. You know, and you're, you're playing the same chords the exact same way that you normally would, except it's going to be higher and hopefully match the range of your voice or whoever is singing. There are a few different kinds of capos. I have a separate lesson where I talk about my three picks, a super affordable one, a super versatile one, and a super indestructible one that has a cool, unique mechanism. I'll put that in the corner. And now the final accessory that I like to have, but it's certainly not essential, is a standalone metronome. Now, a metronome itself is an invaluable practice tool, but the reason why I say it's not essential is because you can get one on your phone. I use a one called Pro Metronome. It's on Android and iPhone, and it's awesome. Once again, no affiliation. It's just a free app that I have you know, been using for years. It works really well. You can just plug your headphones in. If you have an iPhone, you have to have one of those special adapters. Plug in your headphones and you can use it silently. You can change the tempo. You know, it does all sorts of stuff. You know, metronomes are cool. Um, you can also find a metronome on Google. There's a whole bunch on the internet, a bunch of free apps you can use. But I like to have a real metronome because that way it leaves my phone free to play music if I want to jam along to tunes. And it also does this mental thing. You know, when I pull out my metronome, something inside me says it's practice time, you know, and that's, that's why I like it. It's just been a part of my practice environment for so long. And it's just like handy to have a cool metronome with a nice sound. Anyways, those are my four picks four essential guitar accessories and some other ones that are just really good to have. I have some links down below if you'd like to see my recommendations for specific products. And if you end up purchasing anything 
through those links, a small portion of it will go to help support the channel. So I appreciate that. Um, you know, it's not just me being like, buy this stuff. Like it's the actual stuff that I use myself. And um, when it comes to actually learning guitar, I have my free ebook. It's completely free for all my subscribers. I'll put a link in the corner for that as well. So you can grab your copy. And if you want your chance to win all this cool stuff, let me know in the comments down below what's the hardest thing you can play on guitar. And the two comments that get the most likes and replies are going to win. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.